Do you have a deceased loved one that you would like to talk to again? Want to know if a loved one that crossed over is okay and be able to do this whenever you want? This video is for you. Communicating with your loved ones that have passed doesn't have to be a complicated ritual. You don't need to hire someone to help you do this. It's why this isn't a service that I offer. Your energy and their energy. It's about connecting with them in a different way than you're used to, but it can be easy to do anywhere. Hi, I'm Lisa. As a spiritual medium, I've been able to see spirits my whole life. Well, once I realized what they were. And then I realized not everyone can see them, feel them, and talk to them. But everyone does have the ability to talk to their loved ones anywhere and anytime. Ready to connect with your loved ones? Here's what you're going to do. So the very first thing you're going to do is create a safe space, no matter where you're at. So if you're at a place that you used to go to with them, if you're somewhere that reminds you of them, if it's somewhere that you went on a first date, if it's somewhere that used to hang out together, whatever it is, you can go there, you can be there, or you could be at home. You don't even have to go out to try to find them. But you want to create a safe space wherever you're at. And what does that mean? It means that you're going to bring in the white light. And white light is God, love, universe, source. It is your natural energy. And so what you want to do is you want to bring that in so that energetically you're in a good, safe space and that will allow you to connect easily and effortlessly with them. So creating that safe space is bringing in the white light. And it's going to take you maybe five seconds to do it max, okay? So you're just going to imagine bringing the white light in from the top of your head and letting it flow gently and easily through your body, down to your feet and into the earth. Make sure that it goes down your feet and into the earth because you want to be grounded before you connect with a loved one. Because there are things out there that will pretend to be your loved one, so do not skip this step. It's very important no matter where you're at, you want to create a safe space, okay? Step number two, imagine them by you. They can be in front of you, they can be to the side of you, they can be above you, it's whatever you want. It's however you're going to connect with them. But you're going to let them come to you, okay? So you're in the white light, you brought it through, and now you're imagining them coming to you. And if you think that it's going to be hard to bring them in or that's going to be a struggle, then that's what it's going to be. And I know that there's mediums out there that say, well, I can't guarantee that we can talk to so-and-so. That's never been my experience. I've always just brought the white light in, connected with who I wanted to bring in, and then they appear. And my clients have had the same experience. So you're able to just say, I want to talk to you and then just bring them in. And they're going to come in because they're energy and they have the ability to do that. Okay. Step number three, talk to them. It is so much better for you to talk directly to them than for you to hire any single person in the world to talk to them. Even me with all that I can do, when somebody says like mi hija or mi amor, or if they like say something that I don't get or understand, I think I'm misinterpreting the information and I'm not going to share that as quickly and easily because I'm like, what am I missing? What's not right? What's the right word? But you, you know how they talk. That's how you guys have always talked to each other. So just talk to them like you would have always talked to them. And you can talk to them out loud. You can talk to them in your head, whatever you want to do. Okay. In whatever language you want to talk to them in. Okay. It doesn't have to be this complicated process, but you're just imagining them in front of them and you're talking to them and tell them whatever you would like to tell them and know that they're going to hear you. Step four, listen to them. A lot of people don't give the spirit space to respond. And this is key, right? You can talk to them all you want anytime without bringing them in and getting a response back. That's not the purpose of what we're trying to do here. You want to hear from them. You want to, to feel connected with them. And the only way you're going to do that is if you listen to them. So I think listening to them goes up there on the list with creating a safe space when it comes to communicating with the spirit. So make sure that you are giving them space. So go ahead and tell them what you want to tell them and then just kind of pause. You can have your eyes closed or open. I always like to close them and give them that space. So that way you can focus on what they're telling you back. You might see an image, you might have a feeling, you might actually hear them. It's all going to depend on you and what you're willing to do or what your abilities are in that moment, right? You, if you think you can't talk to them, you're not going to be able to talk to them. You'll just see them, okay? But listen to them. This is really key. And then the fifth step is that you want to end by creating a safe space. We want to end how we began by bringing the white light in from the top of your head 
all the way down to your feet and into the earth. But before we do that, I want you to thank them for being there. And you want to let them go until next time because they are energy, right? So we can pull on them and make them stuck here, but we don't want them stuck here. We want them to be able to come here and bounce around between all the different realms that they're in right now. And so thank them for coming and let them go until next time. And then you're going to finish the whole encounter by bringing the white light in from the top of your head down to your feet and into the earth. Okay, let me guide you through it very quickly. This is just gonna be a very quick one. I have other videos that you can check out if you would like to have more time with them, but I just wanna walk you through what we just went through, okay? So go ahead and close your eyes. Of course, you have to be in a safe space to do this, not driving your car or walking or anything. And you're gonna begin by bringing the white light in. So bring the white light in from the top of your head all the way down to your feet and into the earth. I am peace. And then imagine them appearing in front of you, to the side of you, whatever works for you, but imagine them being there. And then go ahead and talk to them. What do you want to tell them? I'll just give you a minute to do this. And then listen to them. What are they saying back to you in response? And then thank them for being there and let them go until next time. And then you're going to bring the white light in again from the top of your head all the way down to your feet and into the earth. I am balance. And then go ahead and open your eyes when you're ready. How do you feel? Tell me below how this works for you. I really do want to know. And then if you like this video, please let me know by liking it. And I invite you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video released. For next videos to watch, I recommend three undeniable signs that a spirit is trying to contact you and how to talk to spirits and connect with deceased loved ones. So when your loved one crosses over, it's hard for us, the ones that are still here. They are always happy and free, regardless of how they died. I hope you use this exercise often to connect with your deceased loved ones and that it brings you peace and comfort. Happy connecting.